It can be challenging communicating and building rapport with all the different personality types in your team, right? If that sounds familiar, believe me, you're not the only one. Many team leaders find it frustrating getting everyone in their team to really listen and understand the points they're trying to get across. The main reason is uh, usually because they don't know the best ways to communicate and build rapport with people. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Carrier and uh, I've got some great tips on how to communicate and build really good rapport with all the different types of uh, people in your team. Tips I've shared with uh, team leaders and managers all around the world that I've worked with or coached in the past 31 years. But before we get started, uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. That way, uh, when I give you more team leader training advice, uh, you'll get notified. Now let me ask you a question. If two team leaders have equally good practical skills, uh, but only one is considered a team player, who's going to be hired or promoted? Leave me a yes comment below if you think the team player uh, will be picked, or no if you think they won't. The reason I ask is because things have changed. These days, employers aren't uh, just looking for professional expertise or experience in their team leaders. They're also looking for other qualities like character traits for building rapport with customers, uh, team members, and coworkers. And they're also looking for interpersonal and communication skills that help leaders effectively lead their teams. If you develop these traits and learn these skills, you'll stand out and get promoted faster because you're able to build positive relationships with the people you work with, people who trust you and are open to your ideas and suggestions. The key to developing good rapport with others and uh, earning their trust is how you communicate with them. The first thing about rapport building and uh, communicating to get the best results from team uh, members is to be assertive. And let's be clear, assertiveness is not about bulldozing your way through by disregarding people's feelings. It's all about learning how to express your views honestly and respectfully. Here's a tip you can use at uh, your meetings when sharing information or letting your team know about something uh, coming up that's uh, important. Firstly, always explain the why behind what you need them to do and explain how that helps the team. These days, people really want to know the why behind anything that affects their job. Long gone are the days when you just told them what to do and expect them to blindly follow your directions. And, and when sharing information, always be open to their suggestions and take their thoughts on board and always accept responsibility for your decisions. Otherwise, how will they learn to really listen to you and believe in what you say? Obviously, it's important for you to build rapport with each team member individually, too. And uh, to build good rapport and have them really understand what you're saying, the first thing you need to do, uh, sorry, the first thing you need to know is the way that they prefer to process information. For example, if you're dealing with a visual person, you can use graphics, pictures, and videos to help them visualize your message. If you're dealing with auditory people, let them hear your message through face-to-face -face meetings and phone calls. And if uh, they're a feeling person, get your message across by sharing personal experiences or the experiences of others that speak to the point you want to get across. Other communication tactics you can use to influence people and uh, get your message across are push and pull influencing styles. One push style is to use logic, pointing out flaws in their thinking. Just be sure when using this push style to fully hear them out first. And only after you've heard them out fully, offer logical solutions that highlight the best way for them to get the outcomes they want. Another push style is the old carrot and stick. Show them the rewards they'll get if they do what you're asking and highlight the downside if they don't. 
And I don't mean doing this in a threatening manner at all. Every action has an upside and a downside. Just help them see the benefits that are important to them and the consequences they want to avoid. So they can make a, an informed decision on which way to move forward. A pull style is a consultative style that is good to use if your team are committed and capable of offering ideas. With a uh, pull style, you influence them by using the big pictures such as shared values, mission, and life goals. Well, that's it for now. I hope you've uh, found these tips really useful. If you enjoyed uh, this video, make sure you like it, comment, and share, uh, share it with people you uh, think it can help. You might also be interested in a video I'll be posting soon on how to provide nurturing and corrective feedback to your team members. So subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload it. And of course, uh, if you need help creating amazing team leaders who coach, nurture, and lead winning teams, connect with me on uh, LinkedIn. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.